Good morning YouTube. Today I will be attempting to clear up this rather shoddy mess of wiring on this Amiga 2000 motherboard. It's a revision 6 I think. It is revision 6. Uh, it is fully working. As you can see it suffered battery damage and destroyed quite a lot of the um, quite a lot of the tracks around that area. I'm also going to be moving probably that to there that is for my uh, SBC I'm just having a little look round and a tidy up as I go along um, this is a 1 megabyte uh, motherboard chip RAM, 1 megabyte chip RAM uh, ECS machine kickstart 3.1 not a lot to say about it really, it's uh, one of the last revisions of the 2000 or 1500 in this case, but it's a, it's a 2000 CR revision 6 which it is, and it's 19... Oh, 1988, just cut myself uh, 1988 so the revisions of the 2000 did um, did continue quite a pace back in those days. Don't remember seeing that before. Uh, I think one of the first revisions you see of a 4000 is a revision 4. And then it changed to a 5, then it changed to a 6, and the 6 was for the later 68000s made by different manufacturers. I think it was to reduce the bus noise and various other revisions of chips rather than faults. I think there may have been an issue with sound, I can't remember now. What's that there? Yeah, so that's today's plan anyway, or this morning. I'm going to change all that, make it tidy. Move that. And that's probably it. So we'll have a little, you'll have another video, an update in a little while, showing the mess I've made of it, and hopefully it still works. So, I shall see you in a little bit. Goodbye. Hello there. We're back again with the 2000. Uh, I've just started putting this back together and then realised I've forgotten to video it. But anyway, as you can see, I've put another 16 bit extension on the ISA bus. 8 bit there, 16 bit there. So that was an 8, it's now a 16 which connects fully to my SBC card which is a Pentium 1 uh, a Pentium 3 rather Pentium 1, Pentium 3 uh, the port that I pinched it from you probably can't see down there but what I'll do is I'll order a, another couple of two new ones if I can find them from our friends in China and I'll probably populate the whole board I've given the board a little bit of a clean up, a de-dusting anyway. I've tidied the wires up a little bit. Not perfect, but they look okay. Didn't bother doing anything with that. Seems solid enough. Also, um, this connector is also broken. Put a bit of hot glue at either side and soldered and snapped pins back on. It does function, but it's damaged. Um, I've put a blob of hot glue on those two resistors that were floating. I don't know why, but I did. So the hot glue gun out. It was dripping hot glue on me, so I decided to you know, glue things. So I will bolt it all back together, or fire it up, and see, um, see if it catches fire. Okay, back soon. Hello, and we're back. Back in the room. So, the problem I had or have had uh, since I put the SBC Pentium 3 in um, is that it works the sound it's got Sound Blaster 16, Vibra 16 uh, S I think it is the problem I had is it works perfectly in DOS um, the audio works, the MIDI works, everything's fine 
However, when I run Windows, um, only the MIDI works. I was messing about. Excuse me, I was messing about this till late last night, so I can't quite remember where everything is. Waves. To, which one is it? That one. Yeah. The problem is it would not play uh, wave files. But now it does. And that's purely because the Sound Blaster 16 was plugged into an 8 bit port. Now, the difference between the 8 and the 16 bit ports, as far as the Sound Blaster is concerned, is that the 16 bit address bus allows it to access our more DMA channels, different IRQ, so on and so forth. So it has a wider range of interrupts to use than an 8 bit card. Because as computers got more and more things plugged into them, your printer port would be on IRQ7, the Sound Blast would be on 5 or DMA5, whatever, and the serial port and VGA would have one and then blah blah blah. And very quickly you run out of available resources. So what happened, or what I had, yay, noise. Well, uh, what I had uh, was that I think the audio, the wa the WAVs, the samples, played the very first time I turned or installed Windows, and they never played again. And I've spent hours. I've reinstalled Windows. I've gone through various driver updates. And I was sat looking at it, thinking, well, the only thing I can think is is that the 16-bit card is plugged into an 8-bit port. Hence, why I changed over the. Uh, no, I'm telling you a lie. The Sound Blaster 16 was always plugged into the 16-bit ISA port. It was the SBC that was plugged into an 8-bit. Um, so, obviously, it couldn't allocate all the resources, even though it said in the control panel everything was working and connected properly. Um, and there was no issues. Oh, that was never there before. 3D st Stereo Enhancement. Oh, that's only just appeared. Resources, yep, there was no conflicts, there was no problem. Everything was tickety-boo. But, the wipes wouldn't work. Uh, these are all Sound Blaster stuff. I've been downloading and trying to update. I've done all kinds of things. I even considered putting XP on at one point, but I'm glad I didn't. So, what does all that? What does all this mean? XP disk. Right, we'll get rid of that for a start. Too big. Yeah, go for it. Yes, to all. Cheerio, XP. Um, so the upshot of all this is: now I have a boot sound when the machine turns on. I will reboot it in a moment so you can see the Amiga fire up with the SBC in and see how quick it is. Well, in 45 seconds or more. Uh, so that's that. In the meantime, I've also added audio to my um, snares, a composite, so it's got audio, even though it's turned down at the moment. So I can do this. That's the Amiga. I've also changed the case from the 1500 to the 2000. I've got a, I had a spare empty case. It's a little bit cleaner. The front's obviously got a blank on it that I didn't have before. Don't, oh. Didn't know the camera was loose. Didn't know that I don't know why these things don't line up very well. This is cracked, but that's another job for another day. But um, that's why it's changed from a 1500 to a 2000. The motherboard's the same. Um, I'll just flick it over to the Amiga side, see what it's doing. Oh, yeah, the Amiga's there. A little bit pink, I don't know why. Oh, it's rebooted. Good old Amiga. Right, so that's that. So this is what I wanted to show. Come on. This is what I always wanted Amiga to do.
Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Hi, Bonnie. The time is 8.40 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retail clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted to well, well, high I'm going to make it 2000. I think I've plugged the floppy in the wrong way around on the Amiga. The light's on all the time, I'll just flick it over. Oh, I'm defective, okay. It's pink as well for some reason. Don't know why. It wasn't pink before. Yeah, the floppy lights on all the time. I've clearly plugged that in the wrong way around. Look at that, well pink. DFO. Yeah, no, I've plugged you in the wrong way around. Sorry. I think I've got the audio later. The uh, Something going on a bit funny there. I wasn't doing that before. Funny colours. Anyway. For the moment, I'm more interested in the PC side. Yeah, vibe. I've spent so long trying to get the sound working. Fatal error, cool. Like fatal errors. It's not IRQ set at all. Start high, there we go. Well, that works properly in DOS. I don't know what's going on there. Let's start low.
Does that need a CD? What's that? Obviously that needs a CD. Drive. No, driver won't work. So anyway, that is the uh, Pentium 3 SBC card, single board computer. It's got 256 mega RAM. If I put more RAM in it, it, it makes no difference. It always stays at 256. I can put a gigabyte in it. Or whatever. Oh, 128? Oh, yeah. Alright. I've got two sticks of RAM that are marked up 512. If I plug them both in, it says 256. If I plug one in, it says 128. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. That's another little project. So that'll do for now. I'll do some more setting up, some more games, some more testing and things and see how we get on. Thank you very much.